here you've got this this threat. Um, and again, remember what I said a day or two ago that first they tell us that Russia is weak, that uh, we still got this from Tom Tillis and from others. Oh, yeah, the, the Ukrainians are really pummeling them. Ten Russians are dying for every Ukrainian. Ukraine is on the verge of victory. On the other hand, Russia is invincible. Russia has all this new technology. Russia is putting missiles in space. So... On the one hand, Russia is unbelievably weak, and little Ukraine is like pummeling them to the ground. On the other hand, Russia is like infinitely strong. So these people will say anything to extract cash out of our pockets. That's, that's what puts all of us on our, on our guard. Yes, Julie Kelly, the national security threat is coming from inside the building. It's like the horror movie, you know, the guy's inside the house. Yes, I agree. Uh, in fact, watch Police State if you haven't. The Nan that is more scary than anything that the Russians are doing to us. Why? Because the Russians right now are not doing anything to us, but our police agencies of government are. Who's more likely to come banging on your door, the Russians or Christopher Ray and his goons? The answer is Christopher Ray and his goons. Now, we have a an imbecile in the Oval Office, and this guy... This, this, this guy who's, whose brain is a scrambled egg uh, has his finger on the nuclear codes. Isn't that a national security threat? Isn't there a, a, a real possibility that this lunatic could set off a world war? I mean, it's not a national security threat. It's not merely a national security threat. It's actually a threat to the whole world. And, and, and it's a threat posed by our government because they have this ventriloquist puppet in the White House who doesn't even know exactly where he is. Uh, that scares me a lot more right now than Vladimir Putin. Again, don't get me wrong. Putin is a thug. He has his own ambitions. Uh, I wouldn't like to be living under Putin's regime. I mean, Tucker Carlson says it's really nice over there and so on. But it's a thuggish regime. There's no question about it.